for McRonald. Thank you for allowing me to perform for you this evening. I wish to present a 16th century call to war for the army of Ansteora. Inspired by the writings and words of Elizabeth I, William Shakespeare, and Pope Urban II, delivered this morning for the army of Ansteora before our glorious victory over our noble foes in the ravine. O oh, Ansteora, ye noble race of the sable star, blessed above all nations, as the wind precedes the storm, so doth your renown usher before you. Lo, I have seen your fury, though tempered by honor and chivalry, on the field of battle. I have stood in awe at the wondrous creations of your artisans. I have, in my time of need, been humbled by the kindness and service of your people. I know thee, Ansteora, for I have borne witness to thine acts and deeds. And do not the acts and deeds of a man flow forth from the depths of his heart? Thus, having seen one's works, do you not then know the very metal of his character? Let Trimeris fear! For within the heart of each Ansteoran roars a lion, which by its divine nature hunts those who challenge him. O oh, Ansteora, ye are a people of noble birth. For your ancestors, who have fought on this soil for generations, were noble. Perchance not by lands or title, but by their honor and valor in the field, they were noble. And though it mean I be cast to the depths for uttering words of treachery, I swear, on this field there is no separate station, no lord or vassal, only Ansteorin, who will share in all honor and glory, all pain and blood, even in the dust. Woe be to the nation that dare stand before you on this field. Let Trimeris fear! Ye come to this field, bearing the wounds of war. Yet, being not born of Ansteor and blows, is not their depth more shallow, and their hue paler than those of your enemies? Think not on your wounds. This day you will not feel the blows of the Knights of the Sable Star. Let Trimeris nurse her wounds. Ye come to this field weary from days of battle and nights of revelry. And though the very marrow of your bones may yearn for rest, think not on your weariness. This day you will not stand against the press of Ansteora's shields. Let Trimeris be weary. Ye come to this field and place your life in the hands of your king whether from richest estate or poorest hovel. Fear not for your life, for this day the heavenly host will not see the battle, as the sky will be black with the bolts of Ansteora's archers. Let Trimeris fear, and when from this battle we by the grace of the Almighty leave victorious, the makers will sing of your glorious acts. Around the fires of their camp, they will tell of your mighty deeds. Your enemies will look to their wounds, and they shall remember this day, for they shall know thee as I know thee. They shall know thy heart. O ye noble race of the sable star, Trimeris shall fear! <laughs> 